Hi children, how are you? Stay home, be safe. Children, today I want to tell about 5th class mathematics. From this 5th class mathematics, first chapter bigger numbers. From bigger numbers, the topic is the 100 number table. So, children, please open your maths textbook, page number 3. You can look at this one, the 100 number table. Before entering the topic, once I recall what yesterday we learned. Children, yesterday we learned about Raghavindra's wholesale shop. And we did some problems on this picture reading. Okay. So, I think you remember the picture reading. So, children, once look at this picture. Did you remember anything? Yes. We had used this bead chain with 100 beads in class 4. We did some operations by using these bead smaller. Children, once look at this 100 number table. Children, this is 100 number table. Once study this table carefully, you can observe 1 to 100 numbers in order. So, children, look at this one carefully once again. Children, here 1 to 100 numbers arranged in order like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And next 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. In this order, like this way, total 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Up to 100 numbers arranged in this order. So, I think you observed very well. Then, I will give you some questions on this table. Yeah, here, some numbers arranged in this column. So, children, observe this one. I will ask you some questions. How many numbers are there in each row? How many numbers are there in each row? Do you know row means this one? This is a row. How many numbers are there in each row? Means I will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 numbers are there in this row. Do you understand? So here 10 numbers are there in this row. So for example, I will take this row 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So here also how many numbers are there? 10 numbers only. So, in this row also, 10 numbers. Like this, all in all rows have only 10 numbers. Once count it, yes, answer is 10 numbers are there in each row. Okay, children, I think you observed very well. Then we go for the next question. What is the difference between any two consecutive numbers in any row? What is the difference between any two consecutive numbers in any row? Children, did you observe the keyword in this question? What is the difference? So, you know what is the difference means you have to do subtraction. Between any two consecutive numbers means you can take any two consecutive numbers. Observe the table once. So this is two consecutive number in this row. This is also two consecutive numbers in this row. For example, I will take second row that is 14 and 15. These two are consecutive numbers. So difference between 14 and 15. So 15 minus 14 is equal to how much? 1. So children, once try 
this one 86 and 87 these two are consecutive numbers find difference how much did you get as I know 87 minus 86 means 1 so you observed very well what is the difference difference is 1 1 is the difference between any two consecutive numbers in any row if you want to check it children once take two consecutive from any number any two consecutive numbers from any row observe you can find answer like this only one is the difference between any two consecutive numbers in any row you understand children yes very good i think you tried next say question what is the difference between any two consecutive numbers in any column children here also one keyword what is the difference means you have to find out the subtraction from any two consecutive numbers between any two consecutive numbers you understand consecutive means we have to take from any column here i will take this is columns two consecutive numbers here 91 and 81 so what is the difference 91 minus 81 is equal to 10 very good take another two consecutive numbers from any column okay i will take here from this column i will take 68 and 58 we have to find out difference 68 minus 58 is equal to 10 children you take any two consecutive number from any column try it yes i think you did okay so what is the difference 10 so 10 is the difference between any two consecutive numbers in any column did you observe this one very good now carefully look at the darkened window with 54 at its center did you observe this picture what is the relationship that 54 has with all the numbers surrounding it let us find out 54 is one more than 53 and one less than 55 54 is 10 more than 44 and 10 less than 64 54 is 11 more than 43 and 11 less than 65 54 is 9 more than 45 and 9 less than 63 did you observe it very good so I took 54 like that way you can take any number and now choose any other window from the number chart and see whether the relationship are the same now fill up the following windows based on the above relationship so children observe this one here this window is there seventy three is its center so already we learn for example we took this box this is one more than seventy three means we have to write here seventy four and one less than 
73 means we have to write here 72 and here 9 more than 73 means we can get here 82 10 more than 73 means here 83 11 more than 73 means here 84 and for example we take down here 11 less than 73 means what we will get think about it as 62 here 10 less than 73 means we can get here 63 here 9 less than means we can get 64 you understand children okay I will explain another one here 115 it said so here 1 less than here 1 more than means here 114 here 116 for example we take middle one here 10 more than here 10 less than 10 more than means 125 and here 105 here 9 more than here 9 less than 9 more than means here we will get 124 here 9 less than means we can get what we will get think about it as yes, 106 like this way here 11 more means 126 here 11 less than means you can get 104 observe this one 104 105 106 and this row 114, 115, 116 and this row 124, 125, 123 children this is very easy so do this one C centrize 39 and D centrize 184 do it in your homework book okay and after completing this one share your work in your whatsapp group with the teacher if you have any doubts replay it and clear it otherwise if you have any doubts call to your teacher okay children thank you bye children see you tomorrow